Howdy folks, hope you all had a great Christmas and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty with the mighty jingles where we're being chased around some really old, I mean this thing dates back to before when Raish Bartmos unleashed the data crash virus and killed the internet, so this place is at least 50 years old. Secret underground Militech bunker buried underneath Night City, we followed Songbird here, she's effectively possessed by some kind of AI and uh, we're being hounded and killed over and over by an AI controlled and completely unhackable maintenance bot. Yes, this is the alien isolation ending. I hate you all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the sooner I get this over and done with, the sooner this will all just be a bad memory and I'll be able to sleep peacefully again. So, we have shut down the various different systems that need to be shut down in order to access the core and get to Songbird. Now we just have to survive the encounter with the killer maintenance bot in the core control room. Easier said than done of course because that bastard AI, and yeah this map is no use to us whatsoever, I'm not even sure it's shown the level that we're on. But that bastard AI knows exactly where I need to go next. Oh shit, the bot's close. <laughs> the screen's glitching out. Yeah, the AI knows as well as I do where I need to go next. And it's going to lock me. I know what's going to happen because I just died after it happened. Flatlined and had to go back to an earlier save. Yeah, I see you, big metal motherfucker. It's going to lock me in the room with it. So I need to survive that. I mean, it's, the AI is anything but stupid. It knows exactly where I need to go. Right. It's close, because the screen's still glitching out. Yep, there it is. Okay, did it just go up into the maintenance ducts? I think it did. Right. Call control. This is where it locks the door. To get to the core control, I've got to go through this place, the observation room. Ah, there it is. That's Songbird, but it's the AI talking through it. In those brief moments where she's um, able to regain control for a few seconds, she is actually trying to help us. Where did it go? Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Alright. It's alright, we got this. It's right on the other side of this pillar, isn't it? <laughs> no, I really don't like this. <laughs> oh, I'm getting medical wing flashbacks from Alien Isolation all over again. Come on, where are you? I mean, it's still in the room with us. I see you. Yeah, you stay over there all day. I'm, I'm quite happy. Well, actually, I'd rather you fucked off, but... There it is. Is it going to leave? No, it's coming this way. Ah, you sneaky fucking Russian. Side is it? It's coming around the other side. Yes, yes, it is. All right. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Right. Are you going to fuck off now? Yes. Oh. And I'm going to live for at least the next three minutes. Right. Core control. Uh. God, where was the core control room? I'm completely... Oh, hello. Songbird? Are these doors open? They are. See, I have a system map of this place, but it's completely useless. I mean, 
even when it was showing me the level that I was on, it was just, it, it was no use at all because it, it didn't show where I was. <laughs> so, okay, we found the core control room. Now what? And there's the core. Right. Okay, let's do this. Let's shut this. Sh oh, shit! Oh, you motherfucker! Songbird. Songbird, if there's anything of you left in there, oh, I could really, really use some help right now. Oh, my fucking God. What just happened? This is a wow. That's Songbird before she had any implants. How young is she there? Is this back in Brooklyn where she grew up? What guys? This? How'd you know? <laughs> okay, Capricorn, make a wish and blow. <laughs> <laughs> Better come true than a fucking horoscope. Well, not entirely without any cybernetic implants. That's a netrunner chair, so she, she's clearly got at the very least a cyber deck. What's going on here? Oh, so. So me. There you. Some days, I'd open the window, sit on the sill, and just listen to the straight sounds. You know, life happening. It was somehow soothing, that. Now, I can't hear, I can't feel anything. Can you? So me. This is all a kind of projection, like the others. Others? Saw you with Reed, Myers. Saw your past. Don't remember? No. The black wall consumes me all. The emptiness grows. I feel it. Fill it with memories. They keep taking them away. So you hopped on a neural link, used the relic's resources and the core's computing power to, uh, take us to your digital mind palace? This secure? Even remotely safe? For you, yes. For me. Well, one version of me is saving your life. Another is here talking to you. And one more is dying. But it's no mind palace, this. What is it then? My unit in Brooklyn. Told you about it. Remember? So me. We're still in the bunker. This place. It's not real. I made so many mistakes. Did terrible things. But here, back then, they never mattered. I gave myself one last chance, and you stripped me of it. Why? You lied, so me. Stabbed everyone in the back. I had to. I never wanted to join them via. I. You saw what I became because of them. You saw what I lost. I know what I've done, know the price I've paid. What you don't know is how sorry I am, how much it all hurts. So me. So me. I don't know. I mean, it's easy to say, well, yeah, you're in the situation you're in because of choices that you made, but she was just a kid. Kid with good taste in music. That's a Johnny Silverhand record.
fucking sleep. Leave me the fuck alone. All of you fucking leave me alone. Oh, no, first thing, right. Fuck me. More Eddies than all of us put together. How's it feel? How are you gonna spend the scratch? You'll see. Go in this shithole? Come on. You'll go anywhere on all them zeros. Said you were bored. Keeps a lame, unambitious, disappointed. Not all. I'll say that's the end. But for now, I'll win this one. The fuck, so me? Been calling you three straight days. Don't worry, got everything under control. Are you fucking kidding me? Passed out in your goddamn chair last week. I spent the night making sure you didn't overheat and die. <laughs> yeah, well, no one asked you to. Oh, you even hear yourself? Listen, got this new gig, like earth shaking. If it works out, I'll be the first. Be making history. Now I just need to focus. Need time, space to think. There it is, your new mantra. But where's it leave us? Know what? Fuck this. I'm done. I... I lost, didn't I? Everything I did, the people I hurt, it's meaningless. It matters not at all. Doing my best to survive my life too, Song. We all make wrong turns. They always the way. And we kneel to pick up the broken pieces of life. Assemble them. Seek meaning in the whole. This can still end well. For you. For me. V. I'm... I'm sorry. There's something that I... You gotta be shitting me! Not going anywhere with you! Making me leave my home? My friends? Everything worth a damn to me? What's ahead is important. Worth so much more. Yeah, no. Hard pass. Dick, that watch rolls up here. What happens to your people? Who trust you? Who care about you? Net watch will know who lent you the eddies for your deck, who let you tap into the subnet of the cafe downstairs. Understand this. I'm the one chance of keeping you safe. Your friends safe. Or sure. Let them get hurt. Blackmail. That your play? Don't know me enough. But I do know your type, and I know your answer. Just haven't admitted it to yourself yet. I thought if I could control the future, I'd feel safe always. But I should have looked to the past. To lessons about loss. Repeated. Repeated. Made many mistakes, V. Too many to count. No looking good, Somi, that's for sure. But you can't give up. I don't know how. Never knew. Look. Look where it's gotten me. You said you wanted another chance, Somi. Here it is. Dwell all you want, but what matters is what you do. Here. Now. It's true we die this way. Our memories to comfort us? Not gonna let you die, Somi. We'll make it out of here. Together. Thank you. I'll keep this moment as this memory. Just one. Back home. A friend at my side. 
before it all goes dark. For my second, although I wasn't alone. What's happening? The black wall. We have just seconds. What? So me, where? The core. Look for me there and help me. One last time. And back to reality. Oh yeah, there's a robot killing me, isn't there? Well, there was. But everything that just passed between me and Songbird probably actually only lasted microseconds, but it was enough time for her to cut the connection between the AIs and this mech and shut it down. After I disabled the core control, of course. It is vitally important, by the way, for later, that you loot this mech. Copy, Reed. V, finally. Blackwell's lockdown on comms has been lifted. Get into your location now. Saw me with you? She's here. She's alive. Good. Take care of her. I'll be there shortly. We'll save her yet. Yeah, but Reed... I mean, he's got good intentions. He does care about her. He wants to keep her safe, but... Myers keeps him on a short leash, and all he's going to do is put her right back in her cage. Of course, if I do hand Songbird over to Reed, President Myers isn't interested in using the Neural Matrix to cure Songbird, because that would cut a connection to the Black Wall, and then Songbird would no longer be useful to the President. Which means I would be able to get the cure, because there is only one cure, something that Songbird thus far has neglected to mention. So me. So me. Reed will be here any second. You'll make it through. No. They'll never let me go. <coughs> I'm, I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. I. I tried on my own. Got the neural matrix. We use it. Cure you. Cure me. It's all good. We'll be all good. It's too late for me. Blackwall. It's taken almost all of me. Dying. It's my only hope. Only way out. You know, it's like I gave her the chance there to come clean and tell me the truth, that she's just been stringing me along all this time. There was only ever one cure, and I was never going to get it. But she's still keeping that one to herself. If I refuse, what then? I'll be forever lost. Searching for myself in endless loops. Beyond the black wall. Not knowing who I was. An algorithm lost and dreaming. 
the memories of a human. Someone else. To exist like this. I can't. Let me die. Help me die, please. FIA's got the best rippers. Reed said so. They'll help you. Never stopped lying to himself. FIA, Blackwall, they're the same hell. Different trappings. B, please, let me die. It doesn't matter what she did or what she planned to do, she's more than paid for it. Freedom. You deserve it, so me. I'll... I'll do it. Thank you. And... And I'm sorry... for everything. Sorry. Yeah, so am I. We need to get her out of here. Right. Let's get moving. Being awful quiet. Everything all right? I think I'm all out of words for you. Yeah, he knows what I did. He's not stupid. What happened back there? Can tell it's eating at you. Wanna talk about it? You wanna know what's eating at me? That I didn't get to her first. Ahead of you. Reed. It should have been me down there with Zomi. Not you. I should have looked her in the eye. Heard her say she wanted out of life. I could have changed her mind. No, you couldn't. You're one of the reasons she wanted to die. Really think so? All Reed was going to do was put her back in her cage. He's not ready to accept it yet, but he will. Right now it's still too fresh for him. He's got no perspective. He still thinks he could have talked her around, but, well... You saw at the end. Do you think she was ready to be talked back into her cage? If Reed had gotten there ahead of me, caring for her the way he does, not being able to talk her down, his only other option, as somebody who cares about her the way he does, would have been to do what I did, and that would have destroyed him. Blaming yourself for her death because you think you had a say, except you didn't. Not everything depends on you, Reed. Clearly. He still thinks he could have made a difference. I mean, of course he does. He's, he's not prepared to accept the truth. He might never be prepared to accept the truth because he wasn't there at the end and he didn't see her. He didn't talk to her. He didn't hear her. But if he had been, if he had gotten there ahead of me, how do you think this would have ended? Remember who this man is. Remember that this is the agent who was betrayed by Songbird seven years ago during the Unification War set up to be assassinated by an Arasaka hit squad. Spent months in hospital, barely survived, and still cares for Songbird. Probably more than I ever would. You know, if you care for somebody, you've got to let them go. Hey, don't worry. Plan is 
stick with you till the end, all right? Please step out of the vehicle. Reed? FIA Special Agent Terry. I'll have our people take over the body. No. V, could you carry Somi? Please. I got her. Place her here. Here's that evil cow Myers. If anybody's responsible for this, it's her. Everything that happened here started with President Myers. Everything that Songbird became is because of what Myers made her. Take good care of her. V, the president will like a word. The president can kiss my ass. Take good care of her. Fuck you. Won't shake your hand, Myers. Not after all this. Surely if there's any blame to lay here, it would be at your feet, not mine. You don't have to worry, your secret's safe. Your re-election is not in danger. So what happens now? We say our goodbyes. You'll return to your life in Night City. I trust you'll find more success there than you did in Dogtown. Song opted to die rather than fall into your hands. Know that, right? Death is never the answer. I've seen too much of it already. Were I in her shoes, I would have chosen life. Yeah, well, you weren't. If I'm not mistaken, neither were you. Well, of the two of us, I think I'm the only one who has some idea of what she was going through. I liked you better when I was ripping that tracker out of your neck. You were just... you then. Because it's still going to happen to me. I'm still me. And the president. Mm-hmm. How could I forget? You'd be wise to remember who you're speaking to. And who would that be exactly? All right. I can't deny you tried to help her. Thank you for your service to the NUSA. No, that's it. I'm, I'm done talking to that evil fuck. You know, what occurs to me, I'm the only person not on her payroll who knows her dirty little secret. That must make her really nervous. I should start looking over my shoulder. I think I know how you're feeling, Reed. All the pain. We're all set to go. She asked me once if I'd always be by her side when she fucked up. I said I wouldn't miss it for the world. She didn't believe me. Just smiled. Shook her head, but she wasn't buying it. I could tell. Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she said. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. Was I a friend or an enemy? Fuck. Maybe all of you- shit. Crown's fucking hot. I think you're all looking for something different. But you weren't her enemy, Reed. Pretty darn sure of that. Yeah, 
At least one of us is sure of something. I failed her. Somi didn't blame you, and neither should you. You know, Reed, got to know Somi about as well as you knew her. You ever want to talk? Mm. He's starting to accept the reality of the situation. I mean, he doesn't like it. He still would like to think that he could have chosen differently without hurting her, but he's starting to accept the truth. I think it's high time you headed back to Night City. So that was the alien isolation ending. No cure for me here either, because of course, I mean, I didn't exactly enamor myself to the president, did I? <laughs> and you know what? I'm fine with that because fuck her and everything she stands for. But there's more. There's quite a bit of wrapping up to do with this particular ending. You know. Ever since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder, yelling that I should delta as far away as possible. Think I've finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. Some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <sighs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. Could turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Dwelling on past mistakes. How do you mean? You try so hard to run away from them, you forget you're going around in a neat little circle, heading for a head-on. And fucking bam. Exactly. Now, uh, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then Yorinobu, now Myers. Got a knack for getting in dangerous peeps' ways, you know? For real, though, how does it feel, you know, with all that's gone down? Do what Somi asked me to do. Why? Wrong call, you think? With you on the decision itself, but... Still ain't gonna be me struggling to sleep, thinking maybe there was some way to save the chick. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. Think finally I understand why I couldn't bring myself to trust Reed. Cause I know his type. Idealist. Like me. Who can't see that what he believes in will devour everyone he cares about. Just one thing sets us apart. Unlike me, he saw his shit through to the end. Price be damned. There. Fucking said it. Thought you and Reed had a lot in common. Except when it comes to being blinded by ideals, well... Can skin that cat a dozen different ways. He did everything he could to save her. That's why he'll eventually accept her being gone. Whereas you guess I was never chasing ideals not really life that's what I was running from and still running does it matter 
I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gotta keep reminding yourself. I'll start by taking a good look at myself in the mirror. Already know I'm gonna fucking hate what I see. All right. Good talk. Get up. Those thoughts, feelings... Didn't expect that from you, Johnny. Probably because you think you've got me all figured out. No, just, uh... Didn't realize that under that prick rocker boy exterior, you're nothing but a big old softie. Yeah. Fuck you, too. Well, at least I've still got Johnny for however long I'm going to last with him in my head, slowly killing me. Uh, and that's not all I've got. Do you remember that tech I picked up inside the bunker? Oh, and by the way, if you don't pick it up during the ending that we just watched, it's gone forever. I tried going back to the bunker afterwards. It's been sealed in. You cannot get back inside. This thing here, it's a crafting schematic for the Militech Kanto Mark V Cyberdeck, but it's missing a component. The Cerberus Decoded Behavioral System Component. This is the cracked version of the thing that we looted from the killer mech in the bunker. We just haven't decoded it yet. There are actually two items that you can craft with the stuff that you salvage from the bunker. So while I'm waiting for Reed to get back in touch, because he's not quite done with us, I... Well, I'll just crash in my apartment in order to spend some time and wait for the next plot element to happen. When I wake up, I'm being messaged from an unknown number. Somebody who knows that I took something from that bunker. Bunker that's been sealed up for the last 50 years, by the way. Something that doesn't belong to me. Tell me to take it to a netrunner that we both know. In order to decrypt it. A mutually beneficial arrangement. I get to use their stuff. And they get to stream data from it. These are the AIs, aren't they? That's, that's who I'm talking to here. The correct response here would be, fuck off, remove me from your database, calling list or whatever, and never contact me again. But I'm curious. <laughs> I mean, I realise this is the slippery slope that Songbird went down. And that did not end well for her. But I mean, fuck it, I'm dying anyway. I probably only have weeks left to live, months at the most. What's the worst that could happen? Unsurprisingly, the netrunner that they want me to go and speak to, who's been provided instructions on how to decrypt the chip that we're carrying, is none other than Yoko, who runs the netrunner shop in Kabuki once again. I I could count on your help with the behavioral circuit. Mm-hmm. I did receive instructions. My help has been paid for already. May I see the component? Perhaps I can do something with it. Okay. Waiting. Usually, I don't ask customers what they want to do with the tech they bring me. And I will also not ask this time. But... This comes from a place that should probably be buried under a fat layer of concrete. The algorithms that run this circuit... I have seen the like long, long ago. You should not let Netwatch catch you with this. I'm serious. Oh, I'll be careful. Thanks. So, that sounded kind of ominous. Let's see what we can make with this thing. So, two things. The first is, where is it? That's not it. I mean, that's nice, but that's not what I'm looking at. There it is, Erebus, Tier 5 Iconic Power Submachine Gun. This is possibly 
the best power submachine gun in the game. The flavour text says that rounds fired from this gun are infused with the energy of the black wall, particularly effective against enemies on low health. What this thing does is when you reduce an enemy to 33% health, it hits them with the black wall gateway quick hack, which basically kills them instantly. What's the black wall gateway quick hack? Excellent question, glad you asked. That is what this thing does, the Militech Canto Mark V Cyberdeck. The submachine gun's very, very nice, but I don't use power weapons. I'm a netrunner, I do use cyberdecks. I could tell you what this quick hack does, but it's probably easier to just show you. It is stupidly powerful, but it comes at a price. Not just that the cyberdeck itself isn't actually that good, because it only contains four quick hack slots. I mean, you get the, the black wall gateway and four others. All other cyberdecks carry eight, so you can only use half as many other quick hacks. This is very much a combat deck based around the use of this black wall gateway quick hack. Everything else that comes with it is just icing on the cake. The thing about this hack though, it costs 12 RAM to upload and then it will spread to up to five enemies within 20 meters. But each consecutive hack increases the RAM cost and reduces the upload time. The thing is the deck only has 30 RAM. The first upload costs 12 and every time the hack jumps it costs more. So you've only got enough RAM for at most one jump. Unless you activate overdrive mode and feed it in your own blood. And that allows you to do this. All the while the deck is telling you of the fate that's waiting for your entire species. <laughs> this is like contagion, but instead of just doing damage over time, it's an instant kill that spreads faster and faster with each jump, at the cost of your own health. The Kanto Militech Mark V is basically a demonically possessed cyber deck. So that's nice. <laughs> Right, anyway, uh, we have to wait to make what is probably going to be our final contact with Reed. I wasn't sure you'd show. Grab a seat, we need to talk. First man right on this court. That why we're here? To say goodbye? We'll see. Goodbyes come in all shapes and sizes, hues and tones. V, I'm gonna come out and say it. You failed as an FIA associated operative. You failed me, Alex, Myers, hell, maybe even yourself. Whoa, no holes barred, huh? Reed, I- Despite of that, here we are. Watching a ball game, talking. Do you know why? Say it ain't so, Saul. You here to apologize? Tell me you'll help after all? I see you still have your sense of humor. I can't help you and I got nothing to apologize for. Close though. All right, let me hear it. You were right. I wanted to tell you in person. You were right, V. <clears throat> Need to be more specific. What exactly was I right about? V, I almost lost everything because of you. Fuck, Reed. Don't talk. Just listen. I lost partners, friends, the trust of my superiors. Everything I believed in, built my life on, gone. In seconds. All because I believed you'd help me save Somi. Reed, I saved Somi. You know that. You were angry for some other reason. Maybe still are. Things slipped from your grip. You didn't get to make the final call. But know what? From where I'm sitting, that was for the best. 
That's why I said I think you were right. I got nothing to lose now. I might be able to gain something for once, though. All because of you, or thanks to you. Not sure which is more fitting. And so me? Any idea? Gonna get some funeral, at least? Somi's been dead for years, officially. There's a grave in Calvary, New York, with her name on it. We actually went there once. Song, Alex and me. We laid flowers, dripped some whiskey on the grave. No need to imagine her. She was right there. I'm sorry. In any case, they'll never put former FIA agent Songbird in the ground. Groom Lake is a facility. They're extracting all they can, but it's all the same to her now. Huh. Myers only pretended she'd take care. No, she did. She is. Just in her own way. Only way she knows how. Myers must be livid. Even if she is, she hides it well, behind a toothy smile. She has direct lines to Night City's biggest players. Hanson's dead, and shit's about to go down in Dogtown. She's already convinced Congress the mess in Night City was targeted, controlled, and, ultimately, a resounding success. They'll award her a second Purple Heart. She'll accept in a teary-eyed speech in which she's sure to remind everyone that Kennedy only got one. And that's why I hate politics. So, what will you do now? Plans, schemes, what? Washington beckons, likely for a stern audience with Her Majesty, then relegation to a desk at Langley. Maybe scribbling on whiteboards, flipping through slides, feeding fresh recruits horseshit, among other humiliations. They already booked me to Red Eye and see the DC Direct. Plan to get on it? Good question. Should I? Screw Washington. Your old life's there. That's what awaits you. Clearly need a new life. Hop in a car and full speed ahead, I say. And then what? Make it up as you go along. Done it. It works. I know. That you do. Got a few nomad friends. You could ride with them. Always a place to start. Just let me know. I don't know what I'll do. And I'm all right with that. Forgot how that felt, but I really fucking missed it. So thanks. Don't sweat it. Buy me a brosef sometime. I'm afraid there won't be a next time. You know that. Take care, V. I'm gonna hang back a little. I'm glad Reed's coming to terms with the reality of the situation, because I kind of like him. I mean, I know, because I've seen it happen in one of the outcomes, that if the mission called for it, he would drop me in a heartbeat. But he wouldn't enjoy doing it, and he would regret it. Reed's always been as straight, loyal, and honest as he could afford to be. I know that's not saying a huge amount, but it's more than most people. And I kind of like him. I can kind of understand where he's coming from, so... The fact that he's finally made peace with the situation... I I'm happy for him. I'm not getting any cure out of it, of course, Sam. <laughs> but then again, the ending where you do get cured is one of the bleakest endings to a game where there are really no happy endings. There are just sort of greater and lesser degrees of bad endings. I mean, the ending where you do get cured is pretty bleak, but at least, at least you're gonna live. Unlike the ending where if you go with Arasaka, which is probably the worst ending imaginable. And then of course, even the hopeful endings where, for example, you accept a mission from Mr. Blue Eyes to do some sort of heist on board the Crystal Palace space station in Earth orbit, where you're basically going out in a blaze of glory. Or the hopeful ending where you escape to a life on the open road with Pan Am and the Aldecaldos. I mean, those are presented as kind of good endings, but you're still going to die because you've got no cure. The reality of the situation is there are no happy endings in this game. The one ending where you get to live 
your entire life is destroyed. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> at least Reed got to have. Well, if it wasn't an entirely happy ending, at least it wasn't a bad one. But hey, at the end of the day, at least we've still got Johnny. So uh, that was Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Didn't actually show you the whole thing. I showed you some of the side missions, but I mostly focused on the main plot. There is a lot more going on in Dogtown than I have shown you. And you deserve to get to explore it for yourself. But that's it. Those are the various different endings to the Phantom Liberty storyline. Let me know which one was your favourite. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time.